I'm trying to work on a documentary about strip club politics and why I can't work right now because look at my fucking hair. Damn. I mean, I just got it done, but the girl who did it, she blow dried my hair. She put enough moisturizer in it, basically. What'd you say? Say it she again. She ain't put enough moisturizer. Say it again. Enough you said moisturizer. It. You said it. It was right. You right. You you ain't lying. Because blow drying it or not, like it's supposed to be dry after the fact, but it's the fact that she didn't put enough moisturizer. Well, besides that, I I really wouldn't even want to work as a dancer in a strip club environment with an afro or a style like this anyway. But we actually have some girls in here who got afros. They work like we got a waitress and a bartender. She has an afro. Waitress. And actually the waitress has an afro too, but she wears a wig majority of the time. Your hair is natural. I'm bald headed. <laughs> Big difference. And you don't have a weave, which is also very it's different. <laughs> unconventional. But anyway, so yeah, the documentary is gonna be about strip club politics and beauty standards, body type standards colorism, skin tone, standards, stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, different clubs, different, I want to talk about the women's stories, and, oh, that, that's what I was saying, the double lives that they live, like, how yes. they can't go out proudly and talk about what they do, because it's so looked down So much on judging, even though you throw free pussy, like, people throw free pussy out here, but people get judged for doing it and getting paid for it. I, that's something I never understood about that. So what is that though? Like, what does that have to do with the dancing part? Cause like, no, like that's I feel one like a thing lot of that people they automatically assume is girls out here just are because they're dancing. Like, oh, like they're hoes, mm, or like basically. they're fucking everybody. But and see, that's for one free thing. or for money too, or for money and for free. Or it doesn't matter because they're fucking in any way and they're sexy and it's just all bad. It's a sin. It's horribleness. Right? That's, I mean, that's... There, people like to put it as a stereotype like that. But then another thing I hear is like, okay, they're dancing. Okay. But you got bitches that go to the clubs, put on these little short-ass outfits. Put on that outfit. Like <laughs> this shit too loud. You, you, you get into the real. You no, real. For real though. You like, just came off the rip with the with the shits. Now hold up, I'm we get into some real stuff now. Some girls that all right, not, they go to these clubs. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Get your ass out there and dance for the free. Uh -huh. Throwing ass for the free, doing the same shit at a dancer is doing. Same shit at a nightclub. At a nightclub. A regular for nightclub. For the free, paying to get in this motherfucker. They're for paying. the free. When dancers do that shit and get paid for the shit. Why not? Like, I'm not a dancer. Now. And when you say dancing, you mean twerking. Twerking. Specifically. Yeah. Specifically twerking. Because most people think that all dancing it is is twerking, but it's a lot more to it. What other kind of dancers have you seen? Um, well, I'd have been to different strip clubs. You know, you got like at white clubs, you got they're actually like making love to the fucking music. Like, they're hushing souls with they dancing. Like, it's a. <laughs> It's a passion for most people. For the white girls? Not per se. White girls, it should be black girls doing it, but it's in the white, like, white people clubs. But, like, the white customers, Mexican customers, they don't just, like, just twerk in. Yeah. They want to see some entertainment. Right. So. Do you think judging and stuff, like, this stuff is judgmental? Yeah, it's very judgmental because they don't understand, like, me being in the strip club, now nah, I don't dance or anything. I I work here, and I just. But your mom's like, even judging you for working here, right? Oh yeah, my mom. That's what she was telling me. My mom is saying some shit like she's like, "Why do you?" She automatically assuming I think I work at strip club. Oh, you're dancing, you're doing all that. I don't want to. My one of my friends to come in here tell me that you're dancing on the phone. I'm like, no, I'm up here just trying to get money, like how these girls are here doing. Even if I was, it's more so like I'm doing the same shit most people do in full clothing twerking that's what most dancers do like they twerk 
it ain't too much. It ain't, they don't necessarily have to get naked. Like, most clubs don't even let you do the shit. Talk about it. What, now, what do they, what clubs do they do that at? That's cabarets when you have to um, get naked, huh? Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is Am that I right? what that is? Am I right? <laughs> that is something that I'm going to have to research. I mm. think cabarets is like, naked. like a new, a new vibe. And then you have what topless bars, bikini bars. It's a whole bunch of different. Shit. And then you got sports bars. Yeah. What's black diamonds? Consider. What the fuck is a consider? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Uh. Is it a bikini bar? Or is it like a? Maybe a bikini bar might be right. Because sometimes you cannot get naked. Yeah, you can. No nipples. No vagina. Not even barely no booty. You're supposed to have full bottoms, right? Mm-hmm. Full and top. So they don't really enforce it, but then they do. It just depends. Right. So well, it's levels to the shit. Talk <laughs> about it. Definitely levels what to are the, the levels to the shit? Like, how many levels? That's one thing that I'm talking about in the strip in, in my film is the levels between white, black, Mexican clubs. Because those are the ones that I worked at mm-hmm. in my experience. And how do you, experience like, how is it different, like? Well, I mean, I feel like anybody could tell you that a white club, most white girls, or white clubs, they barely hire black girls. Like, they have a cap on how many black girls can be working. They don't want... Because they don't like a lot they of They have more shaking. strict rules. It's more so they want it to be like, you're, you're just... How can I say it? Like you're, you're with the music. You're one with the music. Like you're just doing Blowing body. And yeah, your body uh, is body art. Like I like to think uh, of it. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. With my hair back and forth. <laughs> but any other booty club or black club, this is a bunch of shaking yeah, booty shaking. Shaking your ass extremely hard for some dollars. <laughs> On pole. Nice. Shaking. Yeah. Everywhere. Shaking. Basically. Versus being in a strip in a white club where a guy might hand you twenty dollars just to talk to him or he would rather you not yeah. do too much moving. And yeah. black clubs yeah. niggas wanna be seen, they wanted to be at a show. They are throwing all this money in the air for the fiasco. But at white clubs niggas really wanna be known for going in there. Like they don't even want nobody to know they're going in the strip club. They more than likely they, they have high. wives. Right. They have family. They come in there on their lunch reputation. Breaks. Like they come in there on their lunch breaks when they're you know, lonely or something. They just wanna they just wanna look. It's it's supposed to be for a fulfilling of a fantasy, what I always thought. About it, cause like whenever I came into the strip club life, like just being around it, like it's really supposed to be a fantasy. Mm -hmm. Like most men, they come in there for a fantasy when they go to the actual, like legitimate strip clubs. Not no, just no booty bar, titty bar, booty bar. (laughs) I call it booty bar because it's ass everywhere. It's just ass everywhere. (laughs) Have you been? So, what other booty bars have you been to in Houston? I probably all didn't of them. to all of them, like... No, you hadn't. I probably didn't went up in there. Like, not just sat in there, but I probably didn't been to, like, all of them. Yeah? And looked in and, like... Which one? Peace. What other ones? I've been to, you know, you got fantasy. Well, fantasy is really more so, like... Mexican, right? No, because it's, it's black girls that work there, and it's, like, black people that go in there. So it's kind of iffy. Secrets is a cabaret, so that's naked. Ecstasy is a cabaret, that's naked. Chicas is... Hmm. I think it used to be a cabaret, but now it's not. Not so sure. I've been up to Dreams. I've been up to Legend. One, one, no. I haven't been up to Dreams. Okay. Ooh, look at who we have. Another natural. The waitress. Yes. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing quite marvelous, my darling. Welcome to this this show. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hey, say hello to my TV. <laughs> How are you doing today? Welcome on today's show of natural ladies and in the locker room. Uh, no, it's that an Amanda show skit. And this is the girls' room. The girls' room. 
Yeah, she just got school. I'm sorry, y'all. Look what happened. Testosterone walked in. Walk no, in. I've been drinking, y'all. The fresh walk and everything stopped. You no, know, it's know. not even like that. Yeah, I thought is. I could be. Yeah, it is. Actually, it is. When fresh walk in, the conversation diverts. You see how I didn't have to. I didn't say, you see, it's happened. You see what happened? You just stared at me like, what? What am I, I doing wrong? I was not staring at you. I just turned around and looked at you. And looked at y'all and said, fuck y'all had going on. We're making a documentary. Fuck that documentary. <laughs> I'm just joking. But no, I heard the part where you was like, you was opening up the Snapchat about the difference between. Man, fuck that Snapchat. This strip, this strip, this strip club. I'm a little fucked up. This strip club. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I can't. That's the room Chronicles out this bitch. All right, strip club Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> this is episode one. Mine, hey, I yes, get it's a, real rocky on, right now. If, we'll redo it. If I'm on the episode, y'all yeah. gonna pay me. <laughs> Where we're going, it's kind of rocky. Where we're getting, 